Good afternoon, everyone. Um, today, so we discuss about the glass material. You remember about the last week we discuss about the concrete material. So we learned about the various different materiality, and then how you can use the concrete in a field. Um, today is mostly introduce about the different glazing type, and also introducing about the different creating method. So I brought the first project image here. The project name is 111th Avenue, designed by Zhang Nobel, located in the Highline, New York City. Uh, when you see the, this image, the each glass panel reflects on the various urban contexts as different angle and the panel size. So you guys kind of understanding about it has the, everything has a different <laughs> the size of the panel and also each glass has the different the refracting level also it has a different angle it tried to contain every different cityscape around the building that's why the architect designed and proposed this grazing panel for the site so let's talk about the grazing type in the creating system the glass is the most popular creating material in high-rise building because of its strengths and the lightweight and durability and transparent quality. You can design a aesthetic facade using by modular system. So even this is all cartonal design. But you can see that this building here. It is the Greenland building designed by SOM in Beijing. It is 55 story tower with exterior grazing, the modular panel. So it means they're making a this prism looking in the modular facade. And then this prism facade, prism looking modular facade, giving them more about the volumetric elevation. It giving the different refraction because the this glass and the bottom glass has a different refraction. So it means it always has a little bit different color. Also, this is a little bit extruded out. That's why you already making the the shadow casting. It makes the last of a volumetric the form. Even it has the flat surface. So that's comparing to the this one and this one. So when architect more consider about using the differently using the glass, you can design more the interesting and more rich the elevation design you can get. <laughs> so let's look at the glass ingredient. Glass is made from the sand and soda ash, lime, alumina, and post potassium oxide. Okay, so this is kind of basic glass ingredient here also your thickness of the glass range from the 330 inch to the one inch okay so depending on the glass requirement you can choose the proper glass thickness for the design also when your glass having the some heat treatment such as a tempering impact glass it usually having the much stronger glass we talk about the heat treatment glass later of this glass so now we discuss about the how glass can be made in a factory. So let's watch this video together and then we can jump into the next topic.
the next topic you can just find out the impact of glass type. Um, let's look at the glazing assemblies on the incoming sunlight. There's three typical type, which is clear float glass, the refractive glass, and double glazing system. So you can see here the clear float glass and refracted glass and double glazing system. So when you consider about the, your glazing performance, you have to be considered transmitted radiation, diffracted radiation, absorbed radiation, re-radiation. So you can compare it to the, these three different types. Single float glass, you can see most heat energy transferred through the, this glazing system. Only a small amount of the heat energy refracting from the surface. And the only small amount of the, the sun energy absorbed into the, this thickness. However, when you use the refracted glass the film over the exterior the glazing surface, so you can see more, so many, the <coughs> much more the lighting actually refracting from the surface. And then the more the heat energy absorbed into the the, this thickness. However, this is the most efficient type double glazing system. You can see the two glazing type and then this is a uh, air space or sometimes you can feel in the ergon gas. So when you're just having the vacuum space here and then refract the, the film over the surface, the most lining, the refracting from the surface, even the lining, the heat energy transfer through the first layer the most heat energy the capture into the this vacuum area and then only small amount of heat energy passing through so means during the summer time double grazing system and then during the winter time also heat energy from the inside to the outside it is much better performance comparing to the these two different grazing type so let's looking at the double grazing time more double grazing system we have to consider two technique igu insulated glazing unit it is the most common type in double glazing system and it is the double or triple glass window panel so separated by gas or vacuum the field space to reduce the heat transfer so it means usually provide this air space so you can just kind of giving the edible gas here or you can do the vacuum space okay so it means most heat transfer absorbed into the, this area that's why you can make in the higher performance the glazing unit also the glass the panels are separated by the spacer you can see that this is called as the spacer so this is the most important technique when manufacturer design IGU the spacer system helps to create effective thermal barrier at the edge of IGU because without the, this one, it's hard to capture the vacuum space here, hard to capture the air ground gas. So from the, this region, you need uh, some desk and bottle, and then you need uh, some spacer to the conceal the, some vacuum space here. This is a kind of key technology to making the double grazing system. Next one is low E coating. The low E coating, it has the very thin and transparent coating. It is much thinner than human hair. However, performance is much better. So usually the IGU double grading system with a low E coating over the surface. But when you have a low E coating, it refracts heat energy to make it better thermal performance. Okay? So means consider about the good grading system. You consider about the double grading system with a low E coating over the surface. <laughs> so I just kind of bring out this table. You are very easy to understanding about the performance per each type of grazing. So you can see single grazing system and double grazing system. So this is a double grazing system, but this is a double grazing system with the ergon gas. When you have the ergon gas between the two glasses, it has a much better performance, much better insulated value. So when you're just understanding about this table, you have to be understanding about this terminology. The VT, you can see the VT here. VT which is the visible light transmittance, the ratio of visible light passing to the amount striking the glass. And then SHGC, solar heat gain coefficient, the ratio of heat admit 
to the amount of striking the glass. The simply understanding, the thinner glass is more solar heat gain, thinner glass is more UV light is coming. So also understanding about U value, R value here. U we learning about the U value, we learned about the R value. Glass usually using U value. Usually lower U value is better performance, you remember. And R value, higher R value is the better performance. So you can simply compare the single grading system and the double grading system. The single grading system, one U value, and double grading system is 0 0.25 with ergon gas. So means, when you just kind of see the U value, R value, double grading system, four times better performance. And then, visible light transference, of course, single layer, is more light coming into the space. It means more heat transfer from the outside to the inside. So that's why you can simply understand about double grading system, single grading system. You can just simply compare to the, the performance of the glass. <laughs> so when you find that the glass, the most glass panel has the this label on the surface. How you can read about the this label? So this is a manufacturer information. And then you can see the information here. This is the dual seal silicon in using the double grading system with the silicon. And then you can see the, the first layer of the glass has the quarter inch solar bond 60 C2 A and N, which is near the glass. And then they have a half inch spacer between the two glasses. And then it has the quarter inch clear near the glass. The base clear from the, this ingredient, you can also find that the basic performance the VLT, the visible light transmittance, SC and SHGC, solar heat gain coefficient, and new value. So you can just find the proper performance, the glazing type for your project from the, this label. Okay. So let's talk about the different glass type. I think this is a very important, especially for designing the, your the studio project. Rather than just designing the clear glass everywhere, maybe you can just think about the different glazing type and apply these different and various glazing types to the, your design. So I just discussed about the, these different glazing type. The annealed glass, it is most typical floating glass type, which is cooled slowly to reduce the inbuilt stress. So it means it is basic the glass type you mostly find at the annealed glass. The temporary glass, it is used for the safety glass. It is four to five times stronger than normal glass. So it has more heat treatment over the surface, gaining the gain the some strength. Also, when it breaking out the this glass, it usually break into the the small chunk, okay? And rather than dangerous shard. Usually enter the glass when it break, you can just usually find that a very sharp shard. However, Temporary glass usually broken into the small chunk. So that's why it's much safer than any other glass. Also much stronger. From the this region, the temporary glass is mostly using the store front design. Also, it is designing for the, the bathroom glass. <coughs> glass block is a brick rack glass. And then laminate glass, it is sandwich panel. This is glass to the glass and the sandwiching it to make a stronger glass. And then channel glass, like a U-shaped channel glass. And then wire glass, the wire the, between the two glasses. And then spandrel glass. So when you want to the conceal some structure or slab edge, you might consider about the, these, the spandrel glass. Also printed glass is kind of a printing or having the film over the glass or into the glass. So we can talk about the each individual glass in a detail. <coughs> so, so third person we talk about the spandrel glass. The spandrel glass, the, when you use the curtain wall here, this continuous profile, over the facade, sometimes architect want to hide the structural component, such as slab edge, structure members, and bend. So usually want to make it more clear continuous facade but you don't want to the exposed structure edge 
or this MEP system outside. From the, this region, so they think about the, the different, little bit different grazing type too, keeping the, this continuous profile. So spandrel glass is a good option to conceal the structure member, the band and wire and slab edge. It is typically the factory of light ceramic coating. You can see that this is a ceramic coating okay, for making the opaque screen. So it means still having the continuous profile. When you think about it, it has bathroom here, so you don't want to expose the bathroom outside. Simply using the, this pandora glass type to hide this program from the outside. So from this region, the usually slab edge, this is pandora glass, which is the opaque screen, the coated by the factory. So when you're just kind of making the, this pandora glass, sometimes you want to the protect this slab edge. You usually add in the insulation here, okay? But the insulation, you don't want to expose the insulation outside. In this case, you can add in the, this pendular glass panel to hide this all different system from outside. <coughs> Next one, the custom-made glass block. So let's talk about custom-made glass block. The project name here, the Maison de Barre, it built in 1932 in Paris. It can translate house of glass. The external form is defined by translucent glass block wall. This space is controlled under the transparency and the lightness through the glass block. So you can see more about the image. I think that is they, this one using the custom made glass block is very interesting. Uh, this building uses the custom made glass block. It acts as the projection screen for light in both directions. You can see the concave and convex is a little bit different the form between exterior and interior. So exterior, this lighting passing through, interior actually reflecting. From the this region, when you see the inside, it can be more about the, the blurred object you can see from the outside. But from the inside, you can still see the more pretty clear the lighting passing through. Okay, so it can call the cinematic effect. It means during the winter, during the night time, the lighting growing from the inside. From the daytime, you can get in the more lighting from the outside to the inside. So I think you can just growing from the inside to the outside. They want to make it more mystery appealing. That's why they're using these types of glass cinematic effect, the custom made glass block. So it means it is more blurred out object. So it means it can provide more interesting profile when you see from outside. So next one is more current project. In Amsterdam, MBRDB has completed a boutique store, Chanel. I think Chanel currently sells to the different boutique store. However, it's originally built for the Chanel. Um, they using the replica facade made entirely out of glass block. So you can see, they just kind of more to inspire from the context. They just kind of mimic the, this context material and proportion. They adapt this proportion to the their facade design. However, they want to make it a more clear, crystal looking facade because more about the store, more about the popping up from the, the neighbor building. From the, this region, they just keeping the same module from the existing the building and uh, surrounding building. And then they just kind of mimic the old architecture style using the glass. But how they're making out, you can see the detail. The even old glass block with the brick made by the glass and also window frame and the lintel, everything made from the, this, the glass. But this old facade design, the simply analysis from the surrounding buildings. So when you're making out these types of glass, of course, we have to be considered to making a custom-made glass block. So this is all custom-made glass block. So you can see the they making the customized the mold box and then creating the some the glass block. Also interestingly, they have high strength and UV bonded and transparent adhesive. So means you cannot use the normal cement mortar to the stacking between the bricks. So means they use 
the these transparent mortar they actually invented this this transparent mortar to keep the transparent quality even they have also UV treatment making it a much stronger glass after that also considering the light considering about the light transmittance from the outside so let's watch the this video this one is introduced about the, this project I think it's a very inspiring project and then you also understand how you can use the glass block differently as following your architectural language Okay, so next project, um, I talk about the laminate glass. You remember about the laminate glass, sandwich panel glass, two or three more, or two or more, the glass put together to making the much stronger glass. When you combine the two glass, you know, you know about it. it is much stronger glass to support. So I just kind of bring it to this project. It is Le Corps Pavilion, the designed by RCR architect. It's a hotel project. It uses the translucent green laminate glass mask. It means it may have been the two glass between. You can just adding the any film between. So you can adding the transparent or some color or polymer between the two. The the glass. So it means you this project using the green film. So that's why making the more of the green emerald looking space. When you add in the red, you can just make more of the lead colored glass you can get. So it means depending on the these the film shape, you can make in a more unique atmosphere from the this design. The once again laminate glass main purpose to make in a stronger the glass. 
and also when you're adding the different film type you can make a more mysterious and a more different feeling of the space so when you see the detail the laminate glass is used as the poetic effect for the, this project this hotel room sits on the somewhere between architecture and landscape the space is like art and the minimalist sculpture so when you see i think especially really kind of interesting about uh, this portion this laminate glass also very interesting also very interesting kind of atmosphere when you're using this laminate the green laminate glass inside but also architect design the this concrete intentionally they making the, this alcove space so through the time the water can stay in this alcove area and the most actually growing from the this concrete so it means interesting nature growing from the artificial material and then this artificial material is like a concrete, it's totally gone, and now it looks like a natural material. So architect very well use about uh, this structure and the materiality to design their concept. So I think about this project is so amazing. I think you can feel about uh, some how this building looks like through the, this video. I hope you inspired some special quality using this green laminate glass. Let's watch it together. Now we talk about the more decorated laminate glass. You remember about the laminate glass, you can add in the any film. Sometimes you can add in the these different types of uh, the pattern between the glass. You can give it, we can make the variance effect. So this pattern you can customize it. Also you can choose in the one of these. This is a designed by three form. Actually three form is a manufacturer company. So you can choose in the any types about the some pattern between you can make in the unique effect also architect want to make in the own pattern you can talk to the three form and then you can make in the more unique decorated laminate glass sometimes you can also add in the, these the organic material between the two glass it is also called in, it's called as the laminate glass however it's the same technique glass and glass and between they have some more organic pattern organic material and put together the making of the single panel next so we talk about the channel glass um, channel glass everyone know about the project here Nelson Arkins Museum of Art by Stephen Hall it has the translucent new shape cast glass usually channel glass produced in the several widths ranging from 9 inch to 19 inch and length to 23 feet the basic ingredient of channel glass are sand soda lime and recycled glass so you usually most the purple image you can creating from the channel glass it is the translucent quality in use of the when you want to blur the interior space because of this obscure quality 
Also, it can be supported itself like a structure wall. You consider the channel glass. But the canvas is pretty cold during the winter time. How we insulate this glass wall? So everything just glass here. No solid wall. No way to insulate. But when you add in the solid insulation outside or inside, it doesn't work to making out these the, the obscured or transfer some quality. So my question, how we insulate this glass wall? So maybe you can guess how you can insulate in this glass wall. How can you make an insulating wall when you use the channel glass as the exterior wall? So it is pretty simple. You can see channel glass on the bottom. And then you can facing the another channel glass. The between you can actually fill in the insulation. But what kind of insulation you can use? Solid insulation? It's hard to see inside. Hard to make in this kind of effect. So instead of using the solid insulation, they actually developed translucent insulation. It is called as a two different type Okapane translucent insulation and Timex translucent insulation. So you can just find out this. I think Timex is super expensive. I think Okapane is more reasonable price. So you can use in the, this insulation between the two channel glass to making out the better dumber impact. But you remember Timex the insulation factor is much higher than any other insulation. Very light too. However, the price is not reasonable to using the architecture the project. So I think this is mostly using for the spaceship right now, but hopefully getting the cost down and then you can use in the this. This is kind of very interesting material. I think we have more chance using the this Timex material for our the industry. Okay? So next type is wired glass. Let's talk about the wired glass. Wired glass involved wires law into the sheet of glass. It allowed the glass stronger and the perform as sunshade. The zero public library we made. Everything covered by Lombard the glazing panel. So it's okay, it's kinda of all good sun is coming in. However, some part you can see have to be protect the sun because the book is not great from the direct sunlight. From the this region, OMA and Pront Architect, which is Pront Architect is the Pront Engineer, the Pront Passade Engineer, the consultant, they work together to making out this facade system. They said about the wired glass, but they designed the special wired glass. They still getting the sunlight, but most of the strong sunlight they protecting from the this special wire. This wire locating between the two glass, but interestingly they using the, the double grading system outside, but one single grading system inside. And then they just kind of adding the wire that they sandwiching together. So it means when you're sandwiching it, it has the triple grading system. Next one is slump, slumping glass. I think slumping glass is much better to explain from the, this project. Um, this is the Prada Aoyama store designed by Horjog and Malone. You can see the panel is flat, concave, and convex shape here. So you can see more detail. Flat, convex, and concave. So you can just kind of mix these three different Lombard the pattern to make out this facade. So simply, they're using the actual flat and then the prepare the bed okay and then just sealing the glass block and this glass block have to be heated it then after heating it simply pressure after that actually they can make out this is these types of the glass okay so or this is a Concave shape, convex shape, you can simply use the different types of bed, right? And then pushing it, you can make out the convex shape. So it means before pushing the glass, the glass have to be heated and then 
to making out the form. Anyway, the, after making out the form, this glass have to be attached over the structure. So this is the main structure you can see. This is more about the diagrid structure. That this diagrid structure attach over the slab edge. Okay. It means this diagram structure is main structure to hold this different grading system. Okay, so it means it's pretty clever because of what they designing the slab separately and design the diagram system, and then they adding the these the blazing panel inside. So you can this is a finished facade here. So next one is fritted glass. Let's see the fritted window designed by single speed design. This is a museum building in Korea. You can find the gradation over the window. You can see gradation over the glass. And then why does this building have gradation on window? And how do we design the fritted window? When you call that this is printing over the glass, it is called as the printed glass. So, printed glass usually using the silk screen, which is a silk screen, silk screen, the film over the glass surface. So, silk screen ceramic, we can say silk screen ceramic over the glass. And then, a parametrically developed the fritted pattern optimize for the daylight distribution and the minimize heat gain. So it means you guys all know about uh, during the winter time, the sun energy sun look sun is pretty lower, right? But the uh, summer time sun is higher. So it means they only from the this part they only block the higher sun, which is the sun during the summer time. But they're still getting the sun energy, heat energy from the winter time. So from the this analysis, they designing the this gradation pattern and also using the printed glass for the this analysis. Okay, and also they they just kind of making a more solid, more densifying space because this is more about the private space from the outside. From this region, they after calculating from the program needs and then sun energy needs. They created this gradation pattern, but using the this printed glass, the made by silk screen, the ceramic over the glass. Okay, so this is another example. The they using the these two different grading type together: printed glass and laminated glass. It is the IAC building by Frank Gehry, also located in the High Line. So this building you can see same gradation pattern from the top to bottom same region they only block the the summer heat and then they still getting the the winter heat so from the, this region the, they also consider about the, this fritted and laminate glass the, this is also the more the better the sustainable idea but also the design wise facade design wise I think it looks much interesting and also they have a little bit different technique they use. They are using the two glazing system here, but the previous project they have uh, some coating over the glazing surface. However, this type the film actually between the two glazing system. Okay, so this that's why I just called out that this can be laminate glass. This can be the printed glass. Okay. Now we talk about the three D printing. So we talked about the 3D printing concrete last time, but also the 3D printing currently using for the glass manufacturer. So you can just watch the, this video, 3D printing, how the 3D printing, the making of the glass product. This machine is introduced in MIT, but I think about it, this is pretty interesting to making out the different types of the glass by the 3D printing machine. Okay, let's watch it together.
taking contours of different stacking methods. Previous one is more of the linear type, but this one is more about the um, curvy type. So it means it has a different effect when they make out. Also, they change the speed. So depending on the speed, it also makes a different pattern. Complete image. Testing out the structure. Failure. Success. Finally. 